Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Pro Plays GeoGuessr. Now I'm not a pro at this game, in fact I don't really think there is such a pro as such thing as a pro in this game. I'm just here to show off some of the tips and tricks I've learned and learn some along the way. Now I always start off every episode of uh, this GeoGuessr by just taking a stab at whatever shows up on my screen. Uh, by the look is this, uh, this, uh, this this looks like it's in the UK, and I don't know, Sheffield sounds about right to me, so why don't we just choose that, make the guess, whoa, Ooh, that was really unexpected, but that doesn't matter, that's not the round that counts, we were in the Netherlands there, interesting, what does count is I always do a three minute time limit, and this is a challenge you guys are going to be able to take alongside with me, you guys can look down in the description to find that, but I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and a little bit, I always like to start off every new recording session by being a little bit more descriptive about what the episodes are like, so, what I do is I choose three minutes. Three minute time limit is great because what it allows you to do is to really, I guess, make a guess because if you actually just choose infinite time limit, then you can pretty much get bang on all the time. Although some is pretty much impossible or really tricky, but three minute is great because it forces you to make a guess and that's what I love about it. We're going to create uh, this round. Oh, please, oh great, it's a, a GeoGuessr URL. Sometimes you get bit.ly links, which can be very frustrating. And geoguessercom slash 61KJ 61KJ that is going to be uh, the URL for today so you guys can click that link in the description of the video uh, and go there do the challenge and then come back and then you can watch me do it that way you can compare your score to mine better not watch me play through it before you do it so I'm going to give you a few seconds to pause the video and come back and we're back so great, let's go start off this round. Time, uh, timed limited challenge. All right, so the very first thing I notice right off the bat looking at this is the feeling that I'm in Australia. And the reason why I say that is because of these sticks on the side of the road. Usually you see these in Australia only. Annoying part about Australia is it is a tricky place to guess because there are very long roads and I'm really not familiar with the geography of Australia. So finding out where we are is quite hard. Now, I see Mori and I see Bingara, and I literally this is pretty much going to be as good as I can get. Now, I don't know where Mori or Bingara are um, at all. I can see there's a Highway 1 here, but that doesn't really help me. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find out where Highway 38 is, or how big these Highway 38. Because, uh, see, you can see there's a Highway 38 coming up pretty soon. So, I can see a 1, 24, 36... Um, okay, we're doing pretty good. We're in northern Australia now, so maybe the numbers make sense and uh, 38 is going to be close. So we're going to be looking out for that 38. 38 is going to be uh, like a side road. 24 coming up all the way there. Let's go down. We've got at 1 turning into 87. 66 going over here. We are now in uh, Queensland. Yeah, we're in Queensland now. Oh, boy. We got uh, A numbers. That's going to be a little bit confusing. 63 coming up this way. 25. Um, let's see if we can find what we're looking for. Oh, boy. Doesn't really... I, I really seriously doubt like I'm going to find what I'm looking for. And again, don't really know what it is I'm looking for. We got a guess placed on there, but that's not where I think we are. Let me just see if I can maybe get lucky enough to spot it. Uh, I just... I can't... This is going to be a furry one. Furry? Ooh, boy, that's not what I meant. But it uh, doesn't really matter. Um, you got 96s, 95s, 97s popping up here. I feel like a little bit more comfortable back up near the top. 38 coming up, 49. Oh, boy. These numbers, none of them really showing me what I want to see. Um, let's go to Southern. Are we by any chance in Southern? Got some A20s, a lot of numbers, a lot of big motorways. All right, I'm going to have to go back up near, uh, back up in Western. And let's see if we're, maybe we're down near Perth. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be swell? Perth, got any, uh, got anything over here? It'll tell me got 123s. All right. So, but just based on the numbers I can see, I'm going to say that we are we're somewhere around here, probably near Darwin. Maybe we're going to be, let's just guess right there, make the guess. And no, all the way down here near Brisbane. Uh, well, yeah, Brisbane and uh, Sydney. In between those two, uh, let's see if we can spot uh, Maury right over here. 
I don't know if I ever saw that, but I was just looking for numbers by that point. Also, the surroundings of all of that just uh, made me not see it. And the, the worst part about it is, uh, is that uh, that's the Bingara right there. The thing about it is I can't see where that Highway 38 is at all. So... I don't think I would have seen the 38. 25, 80, not the worst. Oh, no, hold on. That is the worst. 18, ooh, boo, low number. Don't like that. All right, North First Street, Farm Street. Uh, this is looking like um, Canada, North America. Um, oh, Alaska. Now, the great part about Alaska is you can see their yellow license plates. Uh, that is going to help. Also, see these giant mountains and the fact that it's like a pretty snowy area? That's uh, definitely a big tell for Alaska is their yellow license plate. First Street, Farm Street. Uh, we are somewhere. Let's go see if we can find out where we are. Okay, we are, are somewhere quite nice. Hmm, oh, I know, now my, my question is, have I been here before? In fact, one of, have we been here in one of the episodes of GeoGuessr that I've done so far? We got an Ace Hardware and um, Proud, Hometown Proud America. Yeah, I get that, the trading trade union i can see all of that we got a big wharf although based on the trees i don't think we're too high in alaska i i think we are we're, we're low i would say we're, we're not even we're not fairbanks or anything like that i'm gonna say we were low petersburg fisheries okay i don't know if petersburg is a place it, it i mean it's okay it's a place i know that it's got to be but um do i know where exactly? I can't tell. And this main street doesn't really seem... Hold on. Um, hardware Annex. That doesn't really seem to give me some super clues. Okay, okay. We're in Alaska. We're not too far up. I don't... I'm not thinking... I'm not thinking we're going to be too high. Hammer and... Uh, we, and Wick, Wiccan Hardware. Okay. Wiccan Hardware. That's interesting. People, Seaport, Gallery, and Gifts. Doesn't look like... As much a tourist town as I've seen, I don't think, I'm not sure if there's going to be any cruise ships docking uh, here. So, I'm almost done through my looking phase. I don't, haven't really seen too, too much. Let's go right over here. Um, I, I mean, are we going to be finally in the fabled Juno? Or are we going to be uh, over here? I'm going to say, maybe we're going to be in the fabled Juno. Petersburg. Ah, oh, fucking fantastic. Alright, <laughs> let's go find, we actually found Petersburg. Um, we got the bed and breakfast right here. Uh, we got Harbor Way, which is where we were. Now let's return to start location. We can see, uh, are we on Harbor Way or, or where was, Harbor Way was over here. We were one street up from it. So we were on like a uh, farm and, uh, well, whatever. If I honestly, hold on, I can see that farm street and what, what's this corner over here? Farm and first. So we've got farm and this one should be first and Nordic Drive. Farm Street, and oh, Farm and First, okay, so we're right there. Make the guess, 0 0.04 kilometers, Petersburg, look at that, right on the money, boom, baby, <laughs> oh, nice, that was a sweet round, all right, awesome, I'm really happy that I found it, we are again in, ooh, okay, this is, things are a bit different here, we are, it says North, oh, KFC Express Pizza Hut, North Mart, Wow, things are a bit different over here. This is the type of landscape. Produce, meats, bakery, groceries. Are we are we in Alaska? No, we're we're not. Oh, hold on, hold on. What are what are these? Um, I know these license plate. The polar bear license plate. First of all, most awesome license plates in all of Canada. Look at them. They're in the shape of a motherfucking polar bear. Oh, these are fucking amazing. I love these. Um, we are in the. Yukon, oh no, my, oh my, I, I'm fairly certain we're in the Yukon, but um, my, my, my knowledge of uh, provincial flags, you know, it's been a long time since I've been in elementary school, and it, it, it sadly starts breaking down, which is, which is a big sad thing, we got a KFC, a big North Mart, I, now, I, I'm not, Northern Images, not too familiar, let's go look at the landscape, like, are we in, like, Super Tundra here, is this, like, I mean, there are trees. They're very small. They're they're not that big, but we're, that doesn't mean that means that we're not super high up. I mean, honestly, this very well looks like it could be a uh, white horse, or here is a yellow knife that I'm thinking of. Um, I'm thinking of white horse. It looks like it could be white horse, but I mean, I, honestly, it looks like it's a little bit higher than white horse. 
Uh, Northwest Territories, I don't know if uh, we, we can ever really be in... Um, or is it the Yukon license place that are like that? Honestly, I don't think it is. Now, that wasn't a Nunavut flag. I would, kn I would know that because the Nunavut flags are great. They got a sweet Anukshuk on it. Um, that, I do believe, is the Yukon flag. Um, although I just can't, I can't remember what, um, I can't remember what the flag of the Northwest Territories looks like. So that's what's tr throwing me off a little bit. Now, see, the Mackenzie, the, the naming of that it happens a lot. This river right here. I mean, is this the Mackenzie River, and does it go by um, this? Hold on, let me let me just zoom. Okay, it is Mackenzie River. So maybe we are in the Northwest Territories. Um, where is where's Yellowknife? Oh crap! I'm really bad at knowing where Yellowknife is. I, I I've never really seen it too much. Is Yellowknife Yellowknife is on the shore here? Um, sure. Let's actually let's actually go up the Mackenzie River quite a bit. Let's go until we can see something. Can we? Do we ever see something? Mackenzie River. Yeah, I see that, but is there is there ever is there a settlement on here that makes sense? Are we in Iqaluit? Oh, hold on, where Iqaluit's up here, right? Are we in Iqaluit? Where oh fuck, where is where is Iqaluit? No, um Inuvik, sorry. Are we in Inuvik? Oh crap. Make the guess. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I knew the right region. Where where exactly were we? We were oh, okay, we were in Inuvik. That's what I was looking for. I was gonna make the Inuvik guess. We were in Inuvik. I, if I would have found it, I would have I would have actually um, gotten like a billion points there. Thank God, uh, Inuvik is hard to spot. Wow, surprising because there's not really any like major cities here. So I would expect it to be like to, for them to 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 bold it out a little bit more for me. But that's an opportunity for you guys to get a lot of points here uh, in Inuvik. You guys might be able to get that one. Mackenzie River is what sort of I'm I sort of thinking that's actually Northwest Territories flag, not the Yukon flag. Hard thing is I can't actually place both the flags in my head. Um, and the Mackenzie River really helped. Uh, Yellowknife is way too low, and it's not it's not that much on the Mackenzie River. So there you go. Inuvik, um, there you go. I could have guessed it. I, I just sort of clicked because I was almost running out of time. Oh, boy. All right, where are we in this location? Right over here. Well, we've got... Um, I mean, what comes to mind is Brazil, but uh, I don't actually know that. This guy is driving on the right side of the road. So that's um that's a point of interest. It's one of the few things I'm gonna see is gonna be that. So might as well start taking a look. Um, we so that means it's ruling out. Okay, we got a big Volkswagen right here. Big Volkswagen got some potholes. Um, I can't see anything special. The truck obviously being compressed because of uh, the way it does the picture. Now those signs very European, uh, indeed signs like that. But we do see those in. Many other places around the world. Let's go take a look at uh, this sign right over here. Let's go zoom into it. We are in um, Santa Inez. Santa Inez. Okay. Makes me think we can perhaps be in Mexico. Um, that could be fun. All right. Let's see this car. This nice Volkswagen. It's got a man driving it uh, or a woman. I don't actually know. Got a person driving it. Big license plate. Big license plate. What does that mean exactly? Not 100% certain. Oh, wow. Look at this car. Now, that's a sweet ride. Santa Inez. Um, now, is there is there an, an easy way to, to tell those apart? Um, is there San and Santa? Let's see. If I were, if, if I'm over here, we got some, a lot of Saos. We got Sete. We've got Porto. Um, we got a lot of that. Uh, but if we go to Mexico, Mexico, do we starting to see a lot more? Uh, Santa's over here. Uh, can 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 we have a lot of places named after stuff like um, Navajo, uh, es uh, Esenada, not Esplanade. Uh, we got San, but uh, do we have any? Do we have any Santa? So we got San, but uh, do we? What are what are they? Um, Santa. Okay, so I'm gonna say we're we're in. I'm gonna say we're in a Brazil. So I think that may be the difference between Santa and San. I'm not sure. San, because San and San means saint, right? And Santa means um, I'm assuming saint as well. Um, uh, I should know this. This should be very. Um, this should be very similar, but uh, very uh, not similar. Very easy to tell where I am based on that. But uh, unfortunately, I, I am, I'm just so bad at remembering these tips. Um, although uh, Bienvenido or Bienvenudo and Bienvenido is one word. 
something maybe I, I will remember. Hold on, let's see, what, what does that sign say? We're in like kilometer uh, of that, okay, Mayas, Seguro, um, and then we've got that. So obviously, I'm just going to guess we're like in the middle, we're right over here, and make the guess. Okay, we were actually quite low down. Uh, we were, I got the right country, which thank goodness for that. 2,000 points, not bad over here. Um, so there you go. Maybe, maybe the San and Santas is a great way to tell uh, Spanish and um, uh, Portuguese apart. Although it's not something I'm 100% certain of, uh, sort, uh, certain of, but definitely something I'm going to keep in my mind in case it is true. Let's go check out this, uh, this right here. Um, oh my god, okay. We've got uh, Maxorita bus. Okay, Maxorata bus. Okay, I don't know if that makes a difference, but uh, maybe it does. Let's go back onto the roads here. We can. Oh my goodness, uh, we've left uh, quite quickly the uh, area that uh, that I would think. Looking back over here, I feel like we are in Brazil yet again. I almost feel, based on looking around, that we are very. Oh no, we're not high. We've got uh, we've got some beaches over here. My goodness, I would love to take a turn down down this way. Um, please, actually, did that? That was just a street name, right? Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this place. This is fantastic. Uh, Puerto La Pena, uh, or La Pena. Okay, that's interesting. This uh, it, it looks quite nice. Uh, a restaurant. Is this El Canti? Okay. Very nice. Well, maybe. I mean, this is hard for me to tell. I'm. I feel like we're we're in Brazil again, but honestly, we could we could very well not be. Nothing is really nothing is really said anything. We've got uh, fresh fish souvenirs. Oh my goodness, queso, hamburgers, hamburguesas. Oh wow. Okay. Are we? Where the fuck are we? Excuse me. Are we? Oh, we're in Europe. Oh, thank the Lord! I figured that out. We're, we must be in. Um, we must be in Spain then. Okay. Um, yeah, we must be in Spain. Yeah, I'm gonna say we're we're in we're in Spain right now, uh, which sort of makes sense to me. Uh, the license plate threw actually a lot of things threw me off of this one. We're in Spain, and I don't really know how to tell anything else. It's a very rugged coast. Is this um? Is this what Spain on the ocean looks like, or Spain on the Mediterranean? Are we like uh, are we like near like Cardiz area over here? Like uh like this like like right over here? Is this what this what this place looks like? I mean very very I mean maybe it's like camping over here. This seems like it seems to me like this is what this place would look like. Let's go give it a shot. Let's say, let's say right over here. And, um, oh, okay. Well, I don't know if I would have figured that out. We're in one of the, uh, Spanish islands. Um, the, uh, the, the Canary Islands? Yeah, these are the Canary Islands. Okay, there you go. And these ones, uh, we got Funchal and, and these ones. So these ones are Portuguese. And I believe these are, uh, the Spanish ones. So, although they may not be, because these ones are Santa. I don't, I don't actually remember which ones are which. But um, this, this is a hard one to guess, the Canary Islands. Thankfully, the part of Spain that I chose was literally pretty much the closest part to there. So we're going to finish this round with a big old score, 15, 8, 56. Um, very close on the Inuvik, spot on on the Alaska. Uh, we got some, some, some fair distances on the other ones. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Aw, oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.